Any other comments, comments or questions? <laughs> Seeing none, uh, we'll move on uh, to item H. And that is a staff briefing on recent storm impacts to Conservancy property. And Mr. Chairman and members, as you know, the Mount Recreation Conservation Authority acts as the land manager both for its own lands and for the lands owned by the Santa Monica Mountain Conservancy. And you've had a presentation earlier from members of the public with respect to properties that uh, the Santa Monica Mountain Conservancy owns. Uh, because we coordinate everything together, we've had the good fortune of some pretty experienced rangers out there on the property, and I was happy to hear uh, from the homeowners saying that they appreciated our being out there. Uh, so I'd like to introduce to you, you all know him, our chief ranger, Fernando Gomez. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, Chairperson and uh, the public and the police as well. Uh, so, uh, my uh, point that I will be providing you is kind of the protocols of when we do get these calls for a slide or an expected agency property to own or manage. Uh, in this case, uh, you know, the big thing to me now that you know, the heavy rains, uh, one of the big things is that mudslides and debris flows to cause them to come down to So, besides the fact that you know, we but we're responding for lack of safety first, and then we start making our notifications. So when we do get a call for service, the way we can come in several ways. Number one, it could be that the general flood of the reporting party is calling someone, or they know somebody, and then they, they can somehow get a hold of someone from the agency, and that gets routed to either to the range of services number or to our legal department, our legal uh, team. Uh, and then the other component of this whether they just call the emergency directly. So the main uh, hub of this uh, of this project here tends to be from the legal team. And what we as rangers do is we dispatch the ranger to the location. Uh, they they're the what they're fact they're just pretty much it's just a fact gathering information. So we're not determining whose fault it is, we're not determining what we can and cannot do. Our main focus is one to determine if there is a mudslide affecting agency property near the ad or near the property. Uh, we do provide notifications as you guys uh, all saw uh, earlier in the, one of the presentations from the member of the public for letters that are issued. Uh, our rangers are uh, directed to issue these uh, letters uh, to notification to the landlord, to the homeowner. Uh, once that information is gathered there, our rangers, when they're there or essentially have to return back because of, you know, because of the safety, uh, we do use our maps that make Google Earth with overlays. Uh, we will work with our fire division to launch our the uh, agency's uh, drone with mapping system to determine to try to determine at least where this slide may, may have started. So again, we again our focus is trying to find out where may have, what the may have actually been the origin, or at least where where this where these fissures are, where things are happening. Uh, we gather all this information in multiple reports, whether it's from the drone reports with the mapping on it. Our rangers provide a very extensive uh, report as well. We gather all this information and provide it to the uh, legal team. Um, and what they do now is that they are the ones who are going to figure out how this is going to be resolved, whether it's going to be sending an outside uh, geotech company to determine uh, a little bit more detail than what we are uh, trained to do. And they will determine uh, you know, what is the next steps, uh, what recommendations to be had, and then we proceed from there. Uh, so that's a little bit of the protocols that we have provided there. Uh, but our report, and again, our main thing is to just, you know, pretty much it's arriving there, report it, and we bring it back to the agency so they, they know what is going on. Pretty much the eyes and our for our agency. So hopefully that, that makes uh, a little bit more sense of what our protocols are. So all the folks that you know we've uh, that did present today, members of the public, that's kind of been this is why they knew our rangers present present there and uh, as we move forward with this. So if there's any questions. Yeah, do we do we have a um, inventory or a log of how many times we're getting called out like and, and how that's changed over time or how many incidents that you know people are calling with concerns related to 
bank stabilization or whatever the issue is? Yes, so we do have a lot of the costs come through. Uh, the, some years are this year, late last year, uh, early you know, this year. Obviously, sort of big rains and build a more numbers of calls for service. And these reports are kept uh, provided over to our legal team. So yeah, so there is a uh, so there is a master list of uh, all the properties. So we do keep a uh, we're going to try to keep very good records. So uh, anytime we go out for sure. Uh, a report is generated and it's, it's individually numbered with an incident number uh, for, for tracking purposes while well, utilizing our uh, internal uh, reporting system. It would be great if we could maybe get like, you know, our, with our annual report, um, if that was a, like a call out or a table, just so we have some idea over time how these are, are changing. Um, I think that would be helpful. Or how, the, how they're increasing, excuse me, how they're increasing. Right. I think I will leave that to the, to the legal team, but we will make the request to see how they want to present this set of forwards. Okay. Any other questions, advisory committee? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Concerns and members, questions? Um, so no questions on storm impacts? No. no. Okay. Okay. Uh, then with that, I have no questions either. So we'll, we'll bring that item to a close. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. And I had one thing.